This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Lauren Pastrana. Members of Miami-Dade Fire Rescue are headed to the Bahamas. The team spent the morning packing up at their Doral headquarters. They'd been sent to Puerto Rico ahead of Hurricane Dorian, but were then sent to Orlando ahead of the expected storm to impact the state of Florida. Now, 15 members are headed to the Bahamas for search and rescue. Based on the needs on the ground, 25 more team members will be deployed Sunday. Caught on camera, a masked gunman ambushes a man in the driveway of his home. Surveillance video captured the masked man running up behind an SUV pulling into a garage on Southwest 118th Avenue and 106th Street. The crook then fires off several shots. The victim, Alex Vega, was hit multiple times but survived. Police are asking for anyone with information to come forward. If you can help, call Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. Now to surveillance video of a pickup truck police say was involved in a fatal hit and run. Video from a nearby gas station shows this Ford F-Series pickup truck police are looking for. The truck is likely to have front end damage after striking and killing 38-year-old Lamar Antoine Thomas sometime after midnight on September 1st. It happened in the area of 128th Avenue and Southwest 248th Street. Anyone with information about this incident is urged to contact Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. A vile scene inside a Broward County courtroom, a convicted criminal throwing urine at a prosecutor. According to an arrest report, Albert Narvaez, who had been found guilty of attempted murder, threw a bottle of urine at Assistant State Attorney Andrew Newman during a sentencing hearing yesterday. It's not clear how he was able to get the bottle in the first place. He's now facing an additional battery charge. In a statement, Broward's chief Assistant State Attorney says, quote, we are absolutely incensed by what occurred. I wish the public knew the number of threats prosecutors receive on a daily basis, but they have the courage to go into court every day to ensure that justice is pursued against these violent offenders. Now, CBS4 weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. The eye of Hurricane Dorian is very near the North Carolina coast here as it continues to bring dangerous storm surge, flash flooding, and also the potential for tornadoes. It's Category 1 and max sustained winds of 90 miles an hour. So, yeah, the eye is 10 miles west southwest of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, moving northeast at 14 miles an hour and forecast to continue moving northeast where it could be just southeast of the extreme New England coastline before it moves into Nova Scotia on Sunday. By Monday, it'll be moving out into the northern Atlantic. There's a view from our Fort Lauderdale camera. It's a warm, muggy start with low to mid 80s already, but dry and highs will be in the low to mid 90s. So we could be tying breaking records this afternoon. It'll feel like the hundreds as we factor in that high humidity and there could be a stray storm. Boaters, no advisories. Wind southwest 10 to 50 knots, seas 2 to 4 and a light chop on the bays. And tonight, warm and humid with the upper 70s as we head into tomorrow. Your Saturday sizzling 94 degrees. It's going to feel like the hundreds and there could be scattered storms. So keep that in mind in the afternoon and evening, especially Sunday. Plenty of summer sunshine, 92 degrees, low 90s early next week. Could see a slightly better chance of those summertime afternoon storms. Lisa, thanks. That's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7 and 11 for all of today's important headlines.